Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at a wireless repeater kit, and we'll show you how you can use it to improve the cell coverage inside your home or business. Put simply, a wireless repeater kit consists of a few different parts. You have an outdoor and inside antenna, and connecting them a cable and an amplifier. The outside antenna picks up the signal from the carrier and sends it along to the amplifier. From there, an interior antenna rebroadcasts the signal to bring coverage where there wasn't any before. Before you start taking a look at a wireless repeater kit, the first thing you need to do is a site survey. A site survey involves taking a device of your choice, like a phone or a hotspot, and performing a few simple tests. You can find the link in the description below, and once you've completed your site survey and decided an antenna can help you, it's time to start looking at hardware. When deciding on your wireless repeater kit, one of the choices you'll have to make is exactly what type of signals you want to pick up and rebroadcast throughout your home or office. Certain amplifiers are capable of picking up just voice and 3G data, while others can do 4G and 4G LTE as well. As an example, this is the Eflex 65. It's a 65 dB amplifier capable of picking up the 800 and 1900 bands. This means most US carriers on 2G and 3G are going to be supported. If you need more coverage, you can get a larger amplifier like the TriFlex. The TriFlex comes in a variety of different configurations, all of which are universal 2G and 3G in the US, and also LTE on the supported carriers. The second consideration with your wireless repeater kit is antennas and antenna placement. Depending on your amplifier, you'll have different antenna requirements, most notably physical separation. If you use the Eflex 65 that I just showed you, for example, you need to keep at least 40 to 60 feet of antenna separation. This means you'll have an antenna, like this 9.5 inch Omni that you mount on the outside of the building, and then you have a second antenna you mount inside that actually rebroadcasts the signal. If you get these two antennas too close to each other, the amplifier will shut down because you'll get feedback, so keeping that in mind is very important when making your selection. Speaking of internal antennas, you have a couple of different options here as well. One of the most popular options is the interior panel antenna. This is directional and it's meant to cover signal across a large area. If you have a wider area you need to cover though, you can always go with the interior dome style antenna. This has 360 degrees of coverage and a threaded mount where you can easily mount it into a ceiling. At this point we've done quite a few different things. We've picked out an amplifier, looked at antennas, and the final consideration is going to be cabling. If you're picking out a bundle from 3G Store, all the cabling is included in the appropriate lengths. Most of the cable in these bundles is going to be LMR400 style cable. This is ultra low loss and specifically meant for cellular. This way you can get the antennas separated at the appropriate distance that the amplifier requires, but not have so much signal loss as that your amplifier is ineffective. So those are the basics of a wireless repeater kit. Once you've determined that an antenna and amplifier is appropriate, you then select an amplifier, the antennas to match your installation, and the cabling usually comes right along. For more information, contact 3G Store or check out the link in the description below. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.